We're back on the air. My name is Jeffrey Davis, and again, this is Radio Entrepreneurs. I'm sitting with Peter Myerson from the law firm of Cohn, Rasnick, Myerson, and Plout. Our next guest, Peter, is Deborah Rayborn of Colonial Life. Uh, welcome, Deborah. I know we're going to talk today about the Affordable Care Act and its effect on small business, right? Correct. Tell us. Uh, what I, I know that. I yes, feel the pain. Most small businesses do, and by small business, we mean anybody that has under 100 employees. Which um, is virtually 99% of all businesses. Correct. Correct. And that's our sweet spot. Um, that's who we help the most. The problems with the Affordable Care Act is it's an ever-changing landscape. They take a law, they meaning the federal government will take a law, enact it, and then the states will change it, modify it, delay it, defer it, and sometimes not even implement it. That's the American way. Yes, sir, it is. So it's very confusing. You're not going to tell me what to do. So, so how do you <laughs> as long solve? As you pay your taxes, you're okay. Right? How do you, how do you <laughs> maybe or maybe not? Mm -hmm. So how do you solve this confusion? We have a very intelligent team, um, an elite staff that uh, helps people navigate through this. We have different programs in Colonial Life, things such as HR Now. It is a website that people can go to to see the most current laws. It's done by lawyers like yourself. Um, I don't do it. I certainly don't know taxation. I certainly don't know legal ramifications on a lot of things. Um, that's why we have lawyers look at it, confirm it, and put the notifications up. One of the major changes that small business owners don't know uh, possibly the ones under 100, 51 to 100, will know this, but the companies that are under 51 currently have no idea this is going on. They have no idea anything's going on. They wear too many hats. You right. know, your HR right. person is doing benefits, they're doing payroll, they're doing assisting the owner, whatever it may be. So one of the laws, it's an IRS code 6056. What that is, it requires employers with 50 more or more employees to provide what's called a 1095C form to each employee. Along with that 1095C form, you have to put a cover sheet, which is a 1094C form. So let me speak English to you. <laughs> that would be good. <laughs> what this form is and what this code is, effective January of 2016, oh, every, not yet. Okay. right, coming January, which is only a few months away. It goes quickly in business, that's for sure. What this means is that for every single employee you have in your workplace, that you are providing health insurance for. You have to report it on each sheet, which is the 1095 form, and you have to put, if they have dependents, how old their dependents are, their date of birth, their spouses, same thing, date of birth. You also have to put down how much you are paying for that employee and how much the employee is paying if it's a co-shared insurance plan. Not every employer knows they have to do that. Wow, that is a big deal. So it's, it's, a, re it's a reporting issue. It's a huge reporting issue. So do you guys do the back we office We will do stuff? the back office for you at no cost. Now the penalty for not doing it is? Undetermined right now with the IRS guidelines. Not indiscriminate, but undetermined. Undetermined. <laughs> If a small business owner needed your services, how would they contact you? I'm on LinkedIn. Uh, my name is Deborah Rayborn. They can reach me by email if they pull up Colonial Life and just put my name in.